Now guys, in this one, I wanna discuss the differences and the benefits of both Squarespace and WordPress. And if you're looking to build a website or an online presence, these two are very popular options, but they're actually good for different people. And depending on who you are, you may actually wanna choose one of the other. So in this one, I just wanna go through the benefits of each, why you would choose one over the other, which one not is best, but is best for you because they are different. And I'm gonna go over the cost, the ease of use, the features, and also the suitability. And I'm just gonna get right into, firstly, the learning curve of both. So if you're a photographer, if you're a small business, you need some products online, and you need to do it yourself, which one is gonna give you the easiest method of doing that? Without a doubt, it is Squarespace over WordPress. Squarespace really excels when it comes to making a step-by-step -step process of setting up a website. And to be honest, if you are computer literate in any way, then you don't even need to watch tutorials. Now I have tutorials on Squarespace and WordPress, and you can go and check all of that, those out on my channel. I also have some playlists as well. I'll link everything in the description below. So more tutorials, also links to Squarespace and to WordPress, web hosting and everything like that. It's all gonna be in the description box for you. But in terms of the one that you can literally go and start today, without a doubt, it's Squarespace. You can go onto the Squarespace homepage and really just start the process. In fact, you can sign up for an account, you can answer some questions, choose a template, and then you're basically editing your website. WordPress, on the other hand, does have a steeper learning curve. It is not just log on and then you're ready to go. WordPress. The best way I can describe it is like the Android ecosystem, whereas Squarespace is like the iPhone. The iPhone is made for you with iOS and everything's done. You have just these squares on the screen. It's really simple, whereas Android has a lot more customizations. You have to put some things together to get the results that you want. It kind of sounds complicated, but it isn't. If you just go to a web host, they're gonna install WordPress for you. It's literally just an option. You click the box to install it. So it's not actually difficult, but certainly it's not a all-in-one sort of process like Squarespace. The next thing I wanna talk about is ease of use. So once you've actually got things up and running, which of these is easier to use overall? And it, this is gonna depend on what type of website that you have, but again, in general, it goes to Squarespace in terms of ease of use because you have a Squarespace login. That's your only login. You go to Squarespace, you can look at your website, you can change it in the Squarespace editor. You're not overrun with choices and different features and different apps and plugins that you can install for different things. Everything is given to you by Squarespace and run in Squarespace's website. The Squarespace editor is really simple as well. It's a much more refined editor and it will give you a few options for everything. So if you wanna upload maybe an image file or a video, you wanna change the text and the styles and the fonts, it's all there for you. You get a good list of options and it is very straightforward to do. You also get an extensive list of FAQs, a how-to section, lots of videos as well, and importantly, customer service. If you are a paying customer of Squarespace, you'll get customer service there if you have any issues. So you have a company whose job it is just to make your life as simple as possible when it comes to building websites. Now WordPress on the other hand, in terms of ease of use, I personally believe WordPress is very easy to use, but it does require more of a learning curve. You have to know some of the ins and outs of WordPress, and you also have to know what add-ons and plugins that you have to use to make editing your website easier. As I said, WordPress is just an open source bit of code. So it's not a company and you're not gonna be getting customer service with WordPress, but it is super powerful and super customizable. So many people use something called Elementor to actually uh, change and edit their websites. Now this is a great plugin for WordPress. And again, you can check out Elementor in the description. I'll leave a link to go through to their website so you can see how they work. But essentially Elementor, once it's installed, allows you to drag and drop and edit your website exactly the same way as the Squarespace editor does. Elementor, in my opinion, doesn't require a learning curve. It is just drag and drop. It's like using Microsoft Word, it's super simple. And if you do need help, again, those tutorials are in the description. But in terms of Elementor versus the Squarespace editor, they're both super simple. It just requires a bit more work to actually get WordPress and Elementor up and running, but it takes like 10 minutes to learn how. You can watch those videos. If you're really not good with computers and you don't really have much experience going through different operating systems and uh, different apps, 
then Squarespace is gonna be your option. It's really, really simple and you get customer service as well. If you are computer literate in any way, even if you don't know about websites, WordPress is super powerful and you just need a weekend or two to really know the ins and outs of the whole thing. Also under ease of use though, I wanna talk about hosting as well, because this is really important. So with WordPress, as I said, you need a separate host. So you need to go to a web host. Now I use Bluehost, as I said, but you have GoDaddy as well, SiteGrounds. There are many web hosts. You get your web hosting first, then install WordPress on there. And then once you get into your WordPress dashboard, you have to install plugins that help you build your website. Now plugins are just like apps, just a different name. So you install Elemental, for example, you can install some free themes. This is really simple, but does require more kind of effort and knowledge. Whereas on Squarespace, it is a simple solution and everything is done for you, but it is a costlier way of doing things because of that, which I'll get onto in a second. Before getting into cost though, let's talk about suitability. If you're a blogger or a professional or a small business, which one of these is gonna be right for you? This one is a draw for me because they both have options for everything. WordPress I think was started as a blogging platform, but on WordPress you have so many different themes and templates and designs that you can upload to your site. If you want to run a store, you can use WooCommerce. That is an app and a plugin within WordPress. So you can run a store with WooCommerce. You can do absolutely everything on WordPress. No matter what website you wanna build, you can do it on WordPress. Squarespace is exactly the same. You can run web stores, you can run blogs. I guess this one is a tie as well. Suitability, no matter what website that you wanna use, you can do it on both. I would say though that WordPress has far more customization options and far more themes as well. So a sort of subcategory in suitability is customization. As I said, WordPress by far and away wins this one. You can do absolutely everything. There is a plugin for everything. There's an app for everything. You have Elementor to design and build your websites. You have pretty much unlimited themes. No matter what you want to do, what you want to change, you can find it in a WordPress plugin. Squarespace doesn't have as many templates and actually the editor is more limited. You basically use blocks to change your website and so the amount of designs that you can actually have is limited compared to WordPress. So the most important one is cost and billing and very, very different. So this whole video has been about how Squarespace is like the iPhone. Everything is packaged for you easy and Android, the WordPress equivalent, is customizable, has options and is far lower cost. So personal, $15 a month. Business is gonna be like $20 a month. And then it can even go up to like $30, $40 a month. So you may be paying like four, $500 if you're getting the higher end things, like $150, $200 a year, even if you're getting a personal account. Now let's say you're a photographer and you just need your portfolio online. Now, $20 a month may not seem a terrible price to pay. You get amazing software, you get service, you get hosting. So you may think, hey, $200 a year is pretty good for all of that. Until you compare it to WordPress, which is absolutely free of charge. It is completely and utterly free to use WordPress. The only cost that you have when you use WordPress is for the web hosting that you have. As I said, you need to host the website somewhere. It needs to be available. And so that's what web hosting is. Now, web hosting obviously is way cheaper than what you're getting with Squarespace. As I said, I use Bluehost and I pay, I think about $3 a month. So I pay $40 more or less a year for my website. That's it. $40 is the entire cost because everything on WordPress is free that I use. I use Elementor, I use a free theme, it's all free. $40 a year versus $200 plus a year. That is a big difference. And if you're having a website for a long time, many years, that is going to be a massive, massive difference in the amount that you pay. With Squarespace, you get customer support, you get hosting, you get an easy setup process. But after you've set up your Squarespace website and you've got it up and running, you're going to be paying a lot of money for some services that you may not need because you may not need to update your website that much. To wrap up though, WordPress is cheaper, it's more customizable, it's more feature rich, but it does take more work in the beginning and through the life of the website to make sure that everything is updated properly. Squarespace is easier to use, it automates most of the boring stuff, it has customer services and good templates, 
And if you are a total beginner, that initial process of setting up your site is going to be easier for you, but you are going to be paying for that. And the longer you have your website, you are going to be paying a lot more than WordPress and you may not need after that initial period to actually pay, but the decision is up to you. As I said, I will leave all my tutorials and how to's on Squarespace, Elementor, WordPress in the description, all the links to all of these sites as well, including Bluehost web hosting, all of that will be in the description. Check that out if you want. That is it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you did like it and I'll see you in the next one.